Hey guys, welcome to the video and in this video I'm going to be showing you the features and exploring them in Nokia Firmware Editor. Um, you can see that it's a good user interface and it's got many detailed pieces of information on here. Um, the cooking of your firmware is done entirely and restricted to inside the application. The main reason for this is the fact that every time you change something on here it will make a change log in the um, Nokia firmware editor directory called ROS build and this is really good for um, posting change loggers, logs and things like that um, so that's a really handy feature um, you can open your firmware files just by dragging and dropping them onto the left pane here so if I wanted to open the uh, ROS2 file I can just drag and drop it here and hit extract and that will um, extract the file into the user interface. Um, while this is here I'm going to go through the bottom here. Um, it tells you the file's open but you need to extract it. It tells you the image type, the version RM356 and the firmware version at hand. It will tell you the partition size. Uh, which is 33 megabytes and the amount of free space on the firmware file um, if you do happen to go over that space it will warn you um, which is not recommended because the chances are that the phone won't boot <coughs> another feature I like is the open firmware directory now I'm just going to show you that I have all my firmware files in here for the 5800 and if I select this uh, file by clicking open firmware directory and just click in firmware it will give me a tree list here of all the different files and I can just click those and press extract or I can just click on them and view the details of each one at the bottom uh, which is pretty handy uh, I really like that feature it's got a fast file search engine so what I'm going to do here is just hit extract and clean and extract the image um, into the user interface Okay, so we have the user interface here. Now, uh, if you want to find a specific file, say someone's told you about a file that you can mod, um, instead of having to click through the tree list and go through everything, you can just, um, for example, if we wanted to find the file list um, file, then uh, you can just type it in here and press find, and that's really, really quick. I was surprised at how quick that was. There's no graphical user interface to show you it's searching it's just straight there which is really good you can drag and drop things straight off your desktop and into the user interface of this and that will add that automatically to the ROM so for example you wouldn't probably wouldn't need to do this but if you wanted to add SIS content into the Z part of the ROM you can just drag and drop that straight in there and if you watch the free space partition free space uh, information there that should also update and uh, that's very quick as you can see there's only a small graphical user interface and a delay of about a second um, to import them into the ROM so I'm going to get rid of that another uh, feature is you can it supports renaming files just by right clicking on them and press rename that will give you the option to press rename to rename the file um, it also works with all Windows shortcuts so you can see here if you just press it and press F2 that will automatically bring up the renaming of the file. Um, you can open files with their associated programs so if Windows automatically assigns a program to deal with uh, say text files then you can just double click it and that will open that in notepad. So we're going to go into the resource files now. I'm going to show you another feature how you can open a file up with your hex editor without having to drag and drop it. So I use HXD. You can assign your own hex editor. So when you first press this button, it'll pop up asking you to uh, browse the directory that your hex editor is located in. And then when you use this, it'll just open it with your assigned hex editor, which is really good because uh, people will like sticking to their own hex editor and not being tied down to one of them supports many phones um, 